euro dollar. So we're seeing a bit of a bounce on the euro out from recent lows, although the market is expected to be very well capped into rallies towards 110, with the market seeking out a next lower top in favor of a bearish resumption back down below that recent low that we saw in place at 106.74, 106.75, and back towards the recent multi-year low from earlier this year at 104.62. Ultimately, only a break back above the 113 area would really compromise the immediate bearish outlook for the euro sterling dollar. So cable is seeing a nice little corrective bounce over the past few sessions, though the market again is in correction and should seek out the next lower top ahead of what, what should be the next downside extension back towards and eventually below the recent low that we saw at 150.27 and down towards the 2015 base at 145.66. At this point the rally should be very well capped into the 153.50 area while only back above the 155.10 area would compromise the bearish outlook for cable. Dollar Yen. So Dollar Yen rallies have stalled out by the 78.6 Fib retracements off of the 2015 high down to August low move and at this point the market will need to see an establishment above the 78.6 Fib retracement which comes in around 123.70 to open the door for a full retracement back towards and potentially above the 125.85 level. But inability to establish a close above the 78.6 followed by a break back below 122 will suggest that the market could be putting in a lower top up here ahead of a bearish resumption, eventually back potentially towards the August base at 116.12. Euro Swiss. So not much going on with the Euro Swiss over the past several weeks, though the market continues to be very well supported on dips into the 107s and ahead of 107.14. At this point, only below 107.14 would compromise the recovery outlook for Euro Swiss, with a higher low sought in favor of the next upside extension back above 110.50 and towards 112 further up. Aussie dollar. So although we've seen a bit of a bounce in Aussie over the past couple of sessions, the market should once again be well capped into rallies with the broader downtrend firmly intact. Look for a lower top somewhere in the into this current rally ahead of the 73 area in favor of the next downside extension back towards and eventually below the recent multi-year low at 69.08. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD remains highly constructive with any setbacks expected to be very well supported on dips in favor of the next upside extension beyond that 11 year peak from September at 134.57. Ultimately only back below 128 would compromise the bullish outlook for Dollar CAD. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi looks to have been carving out the latest medium term lower top after stalling out ahead of 70 with the market now focused on the fresh downside extension back towards those recent multi-year lows from earlier this year from back in the August August uh, around the 62 area. At this point any rally should continue to be very well capped with only a break back above 70 to compromise the bearish outlook. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 has been very well bid in recent trade and the market has, has however showing signs of stalling out after trading up just within a stone's throw of the 2137 record high from May. At this point look for a break and close below 2057 to or 2058 to confirm the possibility for a, 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 a some form of a top and an acceleration to the downside taking the immediate pressure off the top side. But inability to establish a close below 2058 would keep the immediate focus on the top side for a potential retest of that record high at 2137. Gold. So gold has seen some sharp setbacks over the past several days with the market now trading back down towards that multi-year low going back to the month of July at 1077. At this point, the market would need to establish a close below 1077 to open the door for a bearish continuation and fresh downside towards 1000, while inability to establish below 1077 will suggest that the market could be poised for another bounce back towards those recent highs that we saw at 1192.